In this lesson, we're going to focus on calculating the area of a triangle when we're given all three sides. So let's say if this is 5, this is 6, and this is 7. Let's call this A, B, and C. So in this example, side A is 7, side B is 6, side C is 5. Now we need to use something called Heron's formula. The first thing we need to do is calculate S. S is basically half of the perimeter of the triangle. So it's A plus B plus C divided by 2. So A is 7, B is 6, C is 5. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we have S. Now the area is going to be the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. So S is 9, and then we're going to have 9 minus A, which is A is 7, so 9 minus 7, and then 9 minus 6, and 9 minus 5. So 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 4, I mean 9 minus 5 is 4. Now let's see how we could simplify this. So what we have is the square root of 9 times the square root of 4, and 2 and 3 are not perfect squares, so I'm going to multiply it and leave it as the square root of 6. The square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 4 is 2. So the area is 6 root 6, which as a decimal, that's about 14.7 square units. So now you know how to use Heron's formula to find the area of an SSS triangle if you have all three sides. So if you have two sides and the included angle, you can use the other formula, A equals 1 half AB sine of angle C. But if you have all three sides, you want to use Heron's formula. Now let's say if we have an oblique triangle. How can we find the area of this triangle? All you need is two sides and an angle. So basically, you need a triangle that looks like this, side, angle, side. There's three formulas that you can use. The one that I recall the most is this one, 1 half AB sine of angle C. So if we have a side, an angle, and a side, so we need the included angle, the angle that's between those two sides, we can find the area of the triangle. You can also write the formula this way, 1 half BC sine of A, or 1 half AC sine of B. So notice that all three letters have to be different. Either you have side AB and angle C, or side BC angle A, or side AC angle B. As long as all three letters are different, you're going to have a side angle side triangle. And you could just use that equation to calculate the area. So let me give an example. Let's say if A is 20, B is 25, and C is 30 degrees. Go ahead and calculate the area of the triangle. So let's draw a picture. So this is going to be angle A, B, and C. So angle C is 30 degrees. Side A is 20, side B is 25. So we have a side angle side triangle. So let's use the formula. The area is 1 half AB times sine of angle C. So A, A is 20, B is 25, and angle C is 30 degrees. 
1 half of 20 is 10. And sine of 30 is 1 half. Now if we take half of 10, that's going to give us 5. So we're left with 5 times 25, which is 125. So the area is 125 square units.